What if the limitless potential of AI wasn't so limitless after all? With each passing day, our data supplies grow thinner, and AI's demands grow bigger. Imagine building a cutting-edge AI system with no fresh data to feed it. What happens when we run out of the very fuel that powers these innovations? Let's find out. The secret to AI models becoming so smart lies in one crucial factor. Data. Massive, mind-blowing amounts of it. To give you some perspective, ChatGPT was trained on around 300 billion words. That's almost as much data in a library containing every book ever written. Meanwhile, Dolly learned from a staggering 5.8 billion image text pairs. As AI models continue to evolve, so do their requirements. While early models ran on millions of parameters, today's heavyweights operate with over a trillion parameters. More parameters mean more data. More data means bigger demands. And those demands? They're starting to outpace supply. And as companies like OpenAI, Google, and Meta push the boundaries of innovation, the appetite for high-quality data has become insatiable. So, what happens when the well runs dry? Experts predict we could run out of fresh, high-quality data as early as 2027. Think about it. It's like having binge-watched every Netflix show ever made, only to find yourself stuck re-watching reruns from a decade ago. But it's not just about quantity, it's about quality, too. Poor quality data leads to unpredictable, even dangerous results. Take the incident with Microsoft's chatbot, Tay, for example. In 2016, Microsoft launched a Twitter chatbot designed to learn from interactions with users. Initially, it was a fun, harmless experiment, but it quickly spiraled out of control. Within hours, Tay started spewing offensive and inappropriate remarks after learning from the messages it received from users. The chatbot was forced to be taken offline just 16 hours after its launch. This incident highlighted how sensitive AI models are to the data they're trained on. If the data is flawed, the results can be disastrous. It's a stark reminder of why quality data isn't just nice to have. It's essential to prevent AI from going rogue. And by 2030, even low-quality data might be tapped out. So unless humans start creating content at lightning speed, we're heading straight into a data drought. But here are three ideas researchers are exploring to solve this crisis. The third one is bound to leave you speechless. The first solution being explored is the use of synthetic data to train models. Confused? Well, imagine this. What happens when the teacher and the student are the same? Yep, we're talking about AI creating its own training material. Models like Gretel and Synthesis, AI are already exploring this space, generating synthetic data. The concept involves creating synthetic data sets that mimic the patterns and nuances of real-world data. Sounds sci-fi. On the surface, it sounds like a clever fix for the possible data drought. But here's the tricky part. Synthetic data is no substitute for human creativity. It might fill some gaps, but it lacks the richness, unpredictability, and depth of human-made content. And there are plenty of concerns, too. For one, synthetic data could bring in biases or errors, which might mislead AI models. Here's a question for you. Can an AI model really innovate with its own ideas? Or is it doomed to be like a dog chasing its tail? Experts fear this could create an echo chamber where AI systems simply recycle their own ideas. Imagine being stuck in a feedback loop where everything sounds eerily familiar. Not exactly the innovation we're hoping for, right? So, is synthetic data a game changer or a ticking time bomb? Will it help AI evolve or trap it in a cycle of diminishing returns? Stick around, because this is one debate where the stakes couldn't be higher. The next solution being explored is the concept of data partnerships and licensing. What if exclusive data is the key to AI's next breakthrough? AI companies like OpenAI and Google DeepMind are teaming up with organizations, publishers, and institutions to access exclusive data sets, i.e. unique, top-tier collections of information you can't just Google, such as academic papers, special industry reports, or exclusive image libraries. Why? Because the better the data, the smarter the AI model. Additionally, platforms like Data and Sons and Data Robot specialize in partnering with organizations to provide AI-driven insights based on licensed proprietary data sets.
But this comes with the question of power. Are we heading towards a world where only the biggest players with the deepest pockets can build advanced AI? What happens to innovation when data becomes a gated resource? As companies race to secure these data deals, the battle lines between innovation, ethics, and fairness are being drawn. So, is this the golden age of collaboration or a slippery slope into monopolized AI? Only time will tell. Okay, now, the next solution might sound a bit crazy, but hear me out. What if I told you that AI could be trained by listening to raindrops or studying tree rings? Sounds a bit out there, right? But that's exactly what scientists are exploring, turning nature into a data source for smarter AI. We all know that AI needs vast amounts of data to learn and improve, but traditional data sources like social media posts or curated databases are starting to fall short. That's why researchers are turning to more unconventional sources. For instance, AI can learn climate patterns from tree rings by understanding and analyzing their width and density, thus helping in predicting environmental shifts that could shape urban planning or conservation. And then there's animal behavior. Ever wondered why a flock of birds suddenly changes direction or how ants know exactly where to find food? These little creatures have the potential to teach AI about decision-making, cooperation, and survival. It's like nature's very own blueprint for problem solving, which could revolutionize everything. But here's the really cool part. The sound of raindrops. Believe it or not, scientists are looking at the different sounds of rainfall to help AI predict weather patterns. Imagine using that to optimize irrigation or forecast floods. Sounds great, right? But getting this data isn't as easy as just walking in the woods or standing outside in the rain. There are huge challenges in collecting accurate, high-quality data from nature. How do we ensure quality without disrupting nature? And will this diversity finally bust AI's bias problem? Could this nature-inspired data be the key to making advancements in the field of AI, or are we just chasing a wild goose? Only time will tell. And there you have it, folks. The data drought is real, and the race for new sources of training material is heating up. Whether it's AI making its own synthetic data, forging partnerships, or learning from nature's blueprint, the future of AI is full of twists and turns. Will these alternatives be the lifeline AI needs, or will they be more like a band-aid on a bullet wound? Only time will tell, but we're definitely on the edge of something big. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into the world of AI, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your fellow tech lovers, and hit that subscribe button. Craving more mind-expanding AI insights? Do watch our previous video on proving online content is real versus AI generated based on Joe Rogan, Mark Anderson Podcast. See you next time.